What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. PNW Card Collector here back with another video for you. Today I'm going to bust open a 2021 Series 110. Um, I've been hanging on to this for a little while, but I figured, you know what, I haven't opened one of these yet on my channel, so I'm going to open it for you guys. Um, I do have a couple more that I'm hanging on to, and I'm going to hang on to those for a while. I have a Mike Trout 10 that I'm going to leave sealed. Um, but yeah, I figured I'd get into this one. This has 75 cards per 10. One exclusive uh, 70 years of tops chrome card or insert card um, five of the 52 tops redos and one chrome 52 tops redo um, also chances of autographs things like that in these tens um, i'll give you a chance to look at the back uh, no purchase necessary uh, it had to be postmarked by yesterday so it's expired um, but that's okay get this off of here and we'll give you a chance to take a peek at the back see what we're looking for if you want to take a second pause the video see if I can get that to focus a little better uh, that's probably about as good as it's gonna get it's pretty much all the same stuff that's in uh, you know any in, in the packs and whatnot but okay let's get into it I had a lot of fun opening these last year um, oh, that's cool. Mariner right on top. Kyle Seeger. Um, like I said, I had a lot of fun opening these last year. This one looks like it might have a hit in it. That's cool. Um, unfortunately, I didn't even think about it last year, and I opened every single tin that I bought. Um, so I don't have any sealed from last year, which I kind of wish I did. You know, still had, but that's okay. I am going to, like I said, I have a Mike Trout one that I'm going to keep sealed um, that I picked up. So, you know, and then I thought, and maybe they did do these uh, for Series 2 but uh, last year, but I never saw them if they did. So, um, I thought they were going to, but maybe it was an online only thing. I don't know. So, looks like we do have a hit, so I'm going to uh, set that down right there and we'll get to that at the end we'll start no we won't now well, we got a card flipped upside down there too so we're going to start here we got luis robert francisco lindor teoscar hernandez albert pujols uh, let's see here roberto ozuna or osuna a blake taylor walk off apart Josh Bell. That's one thing I'm not a big fan of in these, in this series is the, uh, what I like to call the COVID cards. Um, I, I don't think that that's something that needed to be highlighted. I really don't. I, I do understand that, you know, it was a, a big issue for, for 2020. And that's, of course, all these pictures were taken during the 2020 season, but I, I don't know. To me, I think it's kind of a, a swing and a miss on Topps's part. Sean Doolittle, Tampa Bay Rays, a dab on them. There is an Alec Bohm, there's a nice one. Good rookie there. Gavin Lux, Rossiel Iglesias. Got David Bodie, John Lester, Starling Marte, a playful bout of juniors. Brandon Workman, Bobby Dalbeck, not bad. Danny Duffy, Joe Adele, there's another good one. Joey Votto, Jordan Alvarez, Nico Horner, David Peterson, Anderson Tejada, Kyber Ruiz, Brian Mountcastle, I still think he's going to be uh, big. There's a Cheater Correa, you know, and I've seen this card, I don't know how many times that I, I never noticed. Kyle Lewis is down here. Never noticed that before. Uh, Daniel Murphy. Got Justin Verlander, Davy Garcia. All right, now we get back to the uh, uh, inserts. Casey Mize, that's a good one. Randy Johnson, that's a cool card. Even though he's in his Diamondbacks uniform, that's a cool card. And this is the first time I've seen these. And, oh, these are exclusive to the tens. Uh, Jacob Degrom, Justin Verlander, Sonny Gray. Albert Pujols, 
Manny Machado. And our Chrome redo is Dylan Carlson. That's a good one. And then we got a flipped over card back here in the back. Paul Goldschmidt. That's kind of cool. Why is that one flipped over? I'm not sure why that was flipped over. It does have a glossy finish to it, but it's not a chrome. Hmm. I wonder if it's a... I don't know, that's weird. Again, it's not a chrome, so... It looks like it's not a white border either. It's a, I don't know, like a cream colored border. I don't know if that's a, a thing though. I'm gonna have to look at the back. All right, now we get to uh, the next chunk of cards here. Kyle Seeger, Max Stassi, JD Davis, Cody Bellinger, uh, Roman Quinn, Tommy Edmond, Joey Gallo, Liam Hendricks, Colin Moran, Kenta Maeda, Omar Narvaez, uh, Sean Manaya, Aroldis Chapman, Lorenzo Cain, Jonathan Daza, Kyle Lewis, uh, Stephen Vogt, Trey Turner, Jorge Alfaro, there's the Pirates, Ryan Brazier, Nolan Arenado, Paul Goldschmidt, Atlanta Braves, Minnesota Twins, Colorado Rockies, Brett Gardner, Austin Meadows, Yuli Gurriel, Ian Kennedy, and our hit. It's a Blue Jay. Is it Bo? Nope. Vladdy Jr. Player worn memorabilia. That's cool. Cool card. All right. And congratulations. You've just received a 1986 Topps Relic card from 2021 Topps Baseball. All right. The relic contained in this card was worn by the featured player. The execution of all player worn memorabilia is witnessed by Topps or by a Topps representative to guarantee authenticity. Well, that's cool. Uh, there's a if you hold it at just the right angle you can kind of see a print line that goes right down the middle of the card interesting let's see if this will fit in one of these regular sleeves I think it will yeah oh yeah not a very thick card you know and that's that's pretty cool um, that they actually take the time to say stuff like that because and I'm gonna go on a little rant here maybe you guys have noticed this as well but for instance in the nba hoops product panini that's right i said panini um <laughs> these sweaters which are kind of, i mean it was a cool idea uh, you know not wasn't uh, I don't know that I'd call it a huge success or, or high value by any means there are some that are numbered um, but one of the things that annoys me to my wits end on this is the enclosed officially licensed material is not associated with any specific player game or event so did they go to Goodwill and just find that and chop it up and throw it in the card or I mean not saying that Goodwill is a bad store but I mean, it's not even, I mean, what's the point of putting it in here if it's not going to be associated with, with the player? You know what I mean? Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Um, I do like the fact that, well, I mean, it's cool to get a hit, don't get me wrong, but I do like the fact that, you know, of course, it's actually player worn. Um, this, to me, is, I don't know. It's a cool, cool idea, but maybe, I don't know, before you do it, just, have the player put the sweater on before you cut it up. <laughs> I don't know. Then you could say it's at least associated with the player. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Let me know what your favorite card of today's opening was. Um, that Vladdy Jr. Probably, is probably it for me. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below. I do want to thank you guys for watching. 
If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. So make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Hit that thumbs up button down here below the video. Um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite card was. Hit that notification bell so you get notified of when I post a new video. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy, everybody.